In this photo film strip tutorial I will show you how to make relatively simple pan and zoom slideshows. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. When you first open up photo film strip this is the screen you will see. So ignore everything just select the folder with the plus sign so it says create new slideshow then give your slideshow a title call it what you want and the other option is the aspect ratio soon as most televisions are now 16.9 I wouldn't change this but you could go for the old format if you want you've got three options here but let's stick with 16.9 select OK. Now the easiest way to bring um, images into this is actually open up your folder browser, go to where your images are stored, select the images that you want to use and then just drag them into this section here it won't work unless it, they actually flash up so this is now saying 6 release and you can close your folder down now if you want to add music come up to the top and there's a little music staff not the one with the clock this one here select this and then select the staff again and go to where your music is stored select the music and then select open and then OK now the music will start and finish at the end there'll be no fade in or out I'm not aware you can do anything like that for this so it will literally start at the beginning and finish at the end OK what else is there let's go through a few of the options starting in the middle here there's a magic wand this will randomize the transitions bearing in mind that this will start from here and finish like this so you can randomize to a certain extent what you want to do you can also use these buttons so if I wanted to make this the same on this side I could select this set motion start to end um, if I randomize this I could do it the other way and it would equal it this one swaps motion so I could go and swap the motion like this don't worry about these um, you can also so coming down to this another thing I will show you you can rearrange the positions by moving the clips so bear that in mind as well okay so here's the first clip I'm gonna work with so before I change anything up here just you've got a couple of options in here so movement at present is an accelerated sort of pan you can select the arrow and go for linear that would be a constant speed you can also go for delayed so it won't start till later in the time here so coming to the time side you can change the length you have to do it for each clip by clicking on this up and down or you can manually change the time I'm gonna leave these at seven seconds same again for the fade this will fade it for one second you can change the fade to none or you can have the roll I'm going to leave it with fade I'm not going through too much details here so that's all covered this time of each um, image and the time of the fade so let's sort this out here so I'm actually going to use in this instance yours will be different I'm going to actually set motion to the start and if you place your pointer in the, one of the corners you'll get a black arrow comes up hold down your left mouse button and drag to change the size now what I would do is keep the size along the top and 
um, along the top and down the edge very similar to the format you're going to use so because I'm going to render this in 4k I can sort of come down to about that that'll be fine if I came down to this it would start looking pixely this would be fine round here for say an HD but not for 4k so I'm going to take this to about there and I'll move it over by using my mouse the other thing to bear in mind the more movement you got so that the, the, you may want to increase this time period here so this is like a lot of things in life you'll have to practice with this so just as an example if I was going to zoom to here it would be it would look very fast so I may want to increase this to say 15 seconds I don't know anyway let's drag this back out to a sensible size take it to about there that'll do for that one let's do this one now I'm quite happy with that but I'm going to drag it down and this one I shan't change it here I'm just going to increase the size very slightly and drag it over to about there so we'll look see if we can try not to make the movements too much I'll do another one in fact I'm going to change this around and that probably is the best position for this and I'll squeeze this in a bit here not too much that's fine I'll quickly do a few so I am going to swap the motion here grab this one up and again I'll make it slightly bigger because I don't want too much movement so we'll go with I am rushing this because I don't want this tutorial to be too long so I think I'll go with that maybe yeah change the position a bit no let's leave it there that's fine one more sorry two more this one here let's swap this over swap the movement grab this out and then make this one full screen center it up that probably won't look too good I'll just bring this down a bit that's better one more now this is a portrait you usually find it'll go from top to bottom um, again that's probably too much movement unless you increase the time length so I'm gonna leave this one as is and I'll just smack that up to the middle there you could zoom in if you wanted to as well by um, selecting a corner and doing this but I'm gonna leave this as just a direct straight pan top to bottom or top and down so that's fine okay very quickly I've rushed this so hopefully you've got a rough idea of what to do and this is pretty good once you get used to it so I'm just gonna go ahead and render this if you come up to the top here there's a film with sort of roll it says render film strip select this now from experience I wouldn't change this from MKV um, you might find that your uh, Windows doesn't recognize some of the codexes this works fine now you've got options here this at present is set at high definition 30 frames per second yours may be different select the little arrow and you can select different formats so I could say HD 1080p 30 frames per second I'm gonna go for UHD which is pretty much 4k 30 frames per second you could even go higher this I believe is 6k but seeing as there's very few players will cope with that I would go for this one here 
so I'm going 2160p 30 frames per second now just select start and wait for this to finish rendering I'll come back when this is finished rendering once your slideshow has finished rendering, before closing it down, um, what I would do is there's a little play video button here. So check your video is uh, you're happy with your slideshow video. Um, if not, you can obviously come back and change it. But I'm going to just play this now, just to play this slideshow. Um, and finish here so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers